review with discretion is that motherfucking vibes, girl. Hi everybody, it's Steve-O. Uh, Ty's back there doing dishes. Yeah. Say hi. I love her. But I'm on here today because I have a subject that has been going around in my mind and I'm not happy about it. Um, I've, I've gone through this several times now and I feel as though I need to speak up on it. I have a friend, I have two friends actually that I've been very, very good friends with since high school. Uh, and they started dating. Now, all of a sudden, they broke up, and the girl, uh, who I love to death, but really, really irritated me because she acted real immature about it. Um, she had gone to the bar, and I was at the bar, and they were both there. The guy and the girl were both there, and I went up, and I said hi to the girl and everything, and then she saw me go say hi to the boy. And she came over to me, and she, she, she was questioning me, and then she got so pissed off because I told her I'm still friends with them. And now she's not speaking to me. This really pisses me off, okay? Because just because you guys, they, I've been friends with you both since high school. If not long, I've been friends with the boy longer. I love her, but I'm not going to play these games. I don't know what to do. I really don't. Um, she's not talking to me anymore and I'm not, I'm not going to abandon one person because they were dating and I have been friends with both of them equal time, you know, equal amount of time. I really don't understand what's going on. And she, she told me I should have been more loyal to her. How can I be more loyal to one person or the other when I've known you both equal amount of time? And I was in school with the one boy longer than I was in school with the girl. Because the boy graduated with me, and she graduated three years before me. So I got a lot more time in if you really calculate it out with the boy than I did the girl. But I love them both equally, and I'm not going to drop either of them just because they broke up. They broke up. That's their problem. I wasn't in that relationship. I wasn't fucking neither of them. You know? That's their relationship. That's not mine. And now they, and now the boy's cool with it. He doesn't care that I talk to uh, her, and but she is under the impression that I'm a disloyal person and disrespectful because I'm still talking to him. Now, that just, that's high school and childish to me. That's childish. I don't play those games, okay? That relationship was between A and B. I'm, I'm C, and I wasn't in it, okay? Okay. I might have listened to them both vet about it, but guess what? They weren't meant to be together, obviously. They ain't together. But I've been friends with you both equally, and I love you both, but I'm not going to drop one because you say so, okay? That was your problem, not mine. Your problems with him are completely different than anything that I have with him. Or your problems with her are completely different than anything I've had with her. You guys were in a relationship, you know? I, I'm in a friendship. That's a completely different type of relationship. Those problems were between you two, not me. So don't bring me into it and tell me that I'm, I'm being disloyal and I'm doing this, that, and the third, and I should uh, I should go on your wishes other than his wishes or the, his wishes other than your. I don't play those games. I don't play the in-between. You know what? I got plenty of friends. I would love to stay friends with her but because she's the one uh, doing this. I haven't spoken to her since, and but I'm not going to play those games. I don't. I have plenty of friends. If you if you want to end a relationship because I'm talking to an ex-boyfriend who was my friend and your friend before you guys even started dating and you just want to drop my relationship, my friendship towards you, fine. You know what? I got mine. I got my friends. You know what? That only shows that you're disloyal and you would let a, a relationship between my friend and who used to be your friend destroy another friendship. That's on you. Because I ain't got, I ain't got the time. Okay? I don't got the time and I don't have the patience for it. Okay? I have enough shit going on in my life, but if you want to drop me as a friend, fine. So be it. You know what? I'll love you forever. You do you. I'll do me. Goodbye. Okay? Because I, I, I don't I don't want to deal with it. I don't feel as though that I'm being disloyal or anything. I want to know what you guys think about this because I feel as though I'm not being disloyal. 
personally, I'm friends with you both. Right. I'm not going to drop one. But that's like my, uh, that's like saying, okay, my parents just got a divorce. Now I have to hate my father or hate my mother and not talk to him ever again because you say so. No, if I, if, no, I'm not going to do that. That's just, I'm sorry. It doesn't work. Life doesn't play out that way. I don't play into little kid games. I'm not in ninth grade no more, okay? I'm a 23-year-old man. I got my shit together. You need to get yours together because I'm not going to deal with it. You aren't going to disrespect me and tell me who I am and what I'm doing, and you're the one being disrespectful. And if you're watching this video and you have a guilty conscience about it, then maybe you should call me. And we could talk it out like an adult since you are three years older than me. Let's talk it out like an adult. So you won't even pick up a phone, text nothing. You just ended it, point blank, because, and then text me the des next day, tell me how disloyal of a person I am, how disrespectful, and how this, that, and the third. I have been there for you through every trial and error of your fucking life. Mm. Every boyfriend who beat on you, every boyfriend who disrespected you, who was the fucking person who come pick you up and be the shoulder that you fucking cried on? And you're just going to play me like that? After 10 years? You're just going to play somebody like that? I don't care. You know why? I love you, but you need to come to me like a woman and talk out your issues, but I'm not going to stop talking to the boy. Okay? I'm not. Point blank. I'm so, I, this video started out calm, but now that it's getting in my mind, I'm getting pissed off. Mm. And I don't like it. I don't like you disrespecting me, especially out of all the years of friendship and all the bullshit that I dealt with for you. And you're just going to blatantly end it and disrespect me? Girl, boom. Because you know what? I was the best friend for you. I was there when you had nobody. Mm. Not a damn thing. You know, you're, 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 I was there when you were having your family problems. I was there for you when you were having your boyfriend problems. When you have money problems, I never asked you, you know, if you wanted to, if I was going out to eat and I invited you, I didn't make you pay. I don't expect that back because I'm a good friend. But, you know, I invited you along. I introduced you to my family. I introduced you to all different types of things. You know, I hung out with you. I took you out to the bar. You were with my friends, you know. Like, and now you're just going to completely forget about all the things that I've done for you because you want to be petty about me talking to a person that I've known for 10 years. It's not like it was some boyfriend that you just met off the street that I met through you. That I could see is maybe a different thing, but I've known him since high school. You know, like, I'm not just going to drop it just because you's too dated. I didn't even do that in high school. That's petty. It's petty. What do you think about this situation? Oh, I'm always with you, honey. You were you was reading for Phil, okay? I'm letting you have your shine, because, honey, child, everything you seen is 100% bad. I, I just don't understand, Hank. I really don't. I don't understand why she just want to drop me. Oh, oh, this person is also a mutual friend of him. Well, was. She did the same thing to him. Mm -hmm. And like I said, if you're watching, you must have a guilty conscience. Because mm -hmm. you know exactly who you are. I will love you to the day you die, but I can also hate you and be your, uh, your worst enemy because you want to be so disrespectful towards me. And just drop me like I was a piece of shit that you stepped in. Mm. And scrape me off on the fucking pavement. I don't play those games. I've given you two weeks now and you have not even once attempted to get in contact with me. Okay? After everything, I've been there for you. And I never asked for shit for return. Nothing but your friendship, and you're gonna play me. I'm sorry, I don't play those games. I want uh, viewers. I don't know your uh, opinion on this, but I would like to hear. Um, this is the end of the video. I'm done ranting and raving because I'm still pissed off. Good minute, girl. I'm I'm pissed off about it. I want you to know. Thank you for viewing, and please leave comments so I can get your uh, point of view on this. Thank you, and have a great day. Bye bye.